Hey guys, so today's video is all about my nails. I get so many questions about my nails. I've been talking to my friend Britt, who we met through her doing my nails. She's amazing. You guys may recognize her from my page because we always hang out now. But I asked her if she'd be comfortable with me coming in with my camera equipment and filming some FAQs. She was totally fine with it. So I asked you guys on social media for some questions you had. She actually knows about the science of nails. So I just thought it would be really beneficial instead of me trying to answer your guys' nail questions because I know next to nothing. As you can see, she's an artist. Like she's so good at doing nails. So if you guys don't follow her already, her handle is at Flamingo Boutique Nails on Instagram. Even if it's just for nail and spur, like she does amazing work. They've all got acrylic overlay, is that right? Apart from yeah. these ones, because these got touched up the other day, they're just gel polish. So we're just thinning out the acrylic at the moment. We're not going right down to the natural nail, we're just making it thinner. So we're just going to do one at a time, because hopefully by the time we get to number 10, we can go back to this one. So there's a common misconception that e-files are um, dangerous and that they shouldn't be used. For one, you get specific training for them and the new e-files now, the technology is pretty good and they've got specific bits which can actually be used on the natural nail. I tend to only use mine to remove gel polish and to thin out acrylic. It just proves how safe they are though. You can use them on natural nails. Absolutely. They just need to be in the right hands. So for me, acrylic doesn't adhere super well. I have to get it redone like every two weeks. Otherwise, it will just lift off. And even sometimes they can't make the two weeks. Whereas Brett was saying some people can have it on for like five weeks, which is not recommended, but you know, you get the idea. <laughs> um, so before my trip with Nat Cosmetics, I quickly ran in and she just like fixed these two nails to me because they were bare and they looked really ratchet because I like was doing housework and they came off. Yeah, cannot that's why these are just nails. gels. <laughs> no. On Nat Cosmetics Snapchat. I always message her, I'm like, mate. <laughs> Isn't it funny how when you know there's a camera on you, you just go real quiet? Well, I mean, yeah. you're, you know, you're used to it. No, I know you I'm like, yeah, if I'm in like, the lab, like in someone else's video, I'm like, is it rude to speak? <laughs> we are putting on a layer of strengthening gel before we put our gel polish color on top. Oh, so it's okay. gonna add a little bit of extra strength. Because I have very weak nails naturally, guys. The only reason I can get these nice long nails is because Britt takes such good care of them. We put lots of strengtheners on. The so yeah. nails are dead keratin cells, so they do not have the ability to absorb anything. The matrix, which is where your nail is born and bred, which is like in your finger in here, <laughs> that gets all of its nutrients, oxygen, but etc. from um, the blood. The actual nail itself is dead. So you can take like nail vitamins and stuff orally eh, and that would help because it's in your Yes, blood. yeah because that will be in your blood system. But anything topical that says it's got vitamins in it, I mean even if it does, um, it can't actually get into your body through your nail. So it's just it's just marketing. I'm excited to have gels because although I can have slightly longer nails if we do an acrylic overlay, which by the way, that's not like it's not like tips, like she puts it over my natural nail. I know it's kind of confusing because people are like, are those your real nails? And it's like they are, but there's still some acrylic over them. Yeah, so the length is natural, but they're a bit harder and firmer. So my nails will be a little bit shorter now because they won't have as much strength to be as long with just the gel polish, but they should stay on a lot longer. Adhere better to my nails. Everybody's yeah. different. Oh. And it's probably 10 new colours to Oh, life. really? Just to make things a little harder. I remember what people said. Heaps of people wanted to know how to keep your nails so long. The best way to protect the natural nail is with a coating of some sort. So whether that be polish, gel or acrylic. So if you guys are thinking having natural nails for however long will make them stronger, probably won't. Yeah, you need to have something on them to protect them. So Rena wanted to know where I got my nails done in Wellington. I went to Manicures by Melody in Lower Hutt. They're really sweet there. So if you're in Wellington, definitely check them out. And they wanted to know where I get them done in New Plymouth. Well, right here <laughs> at Flamingo Boutique Nails. <laughs> She's at thebomb.com. Someone wanted to know where to get chrome powder. Is that easy to get if you're not a nail artist? Ooh, like 
black market, but it wouldn't be good. <laughs> so you'll have to go to the salon if you want chrome. So yeah, it's, it's definitely a professional product, and it needs to be used and incorporated, uh, incorporated with the right kind of base coats and stuff. Yeah. Like, you wanted to know how long does it take to get them done? Well, it depends if it's gel, like if you're soaking off, or yeah. if you're just how much for like the actual painting of it now? It's not very long, is it? It's no, if it's just a gel work. appointment, it's about an hour. And acrylics can be like two, two and a half hours. Michaela wanted to know what colour I'm getting today. And Tisha wanted to know what is your all-time favourite nail colour. Oh, my all-time favourite colour is, I'll show you guys. It's like the perfect pink nude. And it goes with absolutely everything. And it goes with rose gold really well. It's beautiful. It's by Artistic. Yes. Artistic gorgeous. nail design. I think I've had that colour before. Yeah. The best colour on the planet Earth. I think we should do this one. Because that's that person's more tan to me. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to bring your nail, take a snack, bring them a lollipop, they can still do your nails <laughs> while they're having a lollipop. Look how these are. Yes, it's amazing. It's so tiny. Oh my gosh. What flavor do you want? Um, strawberry. I hear that these are really hard to get into these days. They are. Oh, they've always been. I thought when I was a kid I could never get into them. Yeah. We were going to do wine, but then we thought that that might be a <laughs> Yeah, um, Brett has a client up to me and I have to drive home. So. Yeah. Now's not the time. Can you put my lollipop? You can, yeah. Just at the end of the stick. Sally has got the longest nail beds. <laughs> She's so lucky. But even though her, the length of her nails are quite short, they still look so long. Okay, guys, it's time for Brittany's rant. Okay, so there's a common misconception, another one, that gel and acrylic is bad for you. If you've ever gone somewhere where your nails have come off worse off than when you went in, then you need to look at the application or the removal of the product, because that's that's where the problem's been, not the actual product itself. Yeah. And also people say acrylics are so harmful and damaging, but they would have actually peeled them off themselves at home. There are a lot of um, salons out there that will pull them off instead of soaking them. Oh. So that's where the damage occurs, or in the um, preparation of the natural now, pop that in hand. Like they've over prepared the natural nail before they've applied the acrylic. All you need to do is like a light buff, that's all you need. But this has all been backed by science as well. Doug Schoen, a scientist for the cosmetic and beauty industry. And he's had like 30 plus years experience. And he basically knows all chemistry of every single nail product out there. I'll link him down below. He has a lot of educational videos and he, like, he quashes a lot of myths as well. He's, he's fantastic. And yeah, it's, it's science, so. Can't really argue it. We're going to put on some goddess from OMG Beauty Solutions. At that point, we need to like crunch the end, but I don't want to be noisy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Screw it. I'm yeah. gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna live my life. <laughs> Ooh, over here, over there. <laughs> Little artist palette. Little palette. So this is gel, but it's gel paint. So it's like the consistency of the paint, but it's pure with like gel. And I'm just going so to... clever. They look so good. So realistic. You know, like how granite and stuff like that's got like the marble mm. sort of texture in them and stuff. I like that. Look how amazing. The weekend. Oh. Doesn't he sound like Michael Jackson? He does. He kind of does that thing where he's like, <laughs> look at the end of the sentence. <laughs> My favourite one by him is Party Monster. Yeah, I was just going to say Party Monster. Oh, Monster. really? Yeah, <laughs> love it. Yeah, me and Brett have like identical music tastes. So we do. It's great when I come in here, we jam out. We just realised we haven't done a white marble before on me. I just yeah. thought we had, but we've done a dark marble. You guys have only tried nail polish and you're too scared to try gel. It'll change your life, seriously. And I think it's so worth it too if you want to get like a manicure for a special occasion or whatever. It's not like it could ship the next day, like it's a better investment because gel just lasts and lasts until you take it off pretty much. Daddy oil. Or do you say daddy? I say daddy. But the story behind it's really cute. The man that created daddy oil, um, oh yeah, that's your lotion. He asked his daughters, Oh. His, his two little girls, watch. He should name it, and they said Daddy Oil, so he did. Oh, so that's kind of cute. See, I just like turned it into like this filthy joke when I shouldn't have. Yeah, that's now I feel really bad. <laughs> this thing I thought though when I heard it, I was like, Daddy Oil, really? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's like at the hairdressers okay. when you get the scalp massage, it's like the best part. <laughs> Look how big my hands are against your hands. 
Can't think of my hands are like petals, like they go out real wide. <laughs> they don't. They do. But they go like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. She's I can't help it. <laughs> She's a monster. <laughs> So here are my finished gel nails. I love these. Oh, they're amazing. She's so good at marble. She's just like so good at everything, TBH. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. And also go check out Brit because we owe her one for giving us all her Nostim. Nostim? <laughs> what? I was gonna say like knowledge and then I went to say wisdom. But can we make Nostim a thing? But anyway, have a great rest of the day and I'll talk to you guys again really soon. Bye.